The 2024 Democratic National Convention will be the 26th major party convention held in Chicago. That's more than any other city in America. And it's not hard to see why the city has been so popular. It's centrally located in the middle of the country, so it's easy for delegates to get to. And historically, Illinois has been one of the most important swing states in the country. Chicago's first convention was one of the most important in American history, the 1860 Republican National Convention. That convention was expected to nominate William Seward, but supporters of a little-known former Illinois congressman named Abraham Lincoln printed fake credentials to get into the convention hall and delivered an upset victory to Lincoln on the third ballot. Republicans have returned to Chicago 13 times since then, including in 1920, when delegates were deadlocked after several ballots. Party leaders finally retired to a suite at the Blackstone Hotel to smoke cigars and decide on a compromise candidate, the origin of the phrase smoke-filled room. Meanwhile, Democrats held their first Chicago convention in 1864, but the most famous DNC in Chicago came in 1968. That year, anti-war protesters broke out of the designated protest area, and police violently cracked down on them as a national television audience looked on in horror. The riot highlighted democratic divisions over Vietnam and contributed to a sense of abnormalcy in the country that helped propel Richard Nixon to the White House. The only major party convention that the city has hosted since was the 1996 DNC, where Democrats renominated Bill Clinton at an event that was meant to turn the page from 1968. Democrats' decision to return to the Windy City here in 2024 could be a sign that Chicago is ready to put the ghosts of 1968 behind it. I'm Nathaniel Rakich for 538, reporting from Chicago.